Huh, I don't remember Dragon Adventures being this orange. Wait, who's this? What is this? Dave! What is up, guys? We are back. And Solstice released four Bruh. days ago. Yeah, I'm late. But anyways, I said I was gonna be late in a previous video, so that doesn't really matter. Here we are, and I'm gonna give you a somewhat complete guide. So during Solstice on week 1, you can of course hatch one of the two, the Soul Horizon and the Hexalios. Now, these have different percentages this time, and you can have a higher chance of hatching a Soul, a soul Horizon than an actual Hexalios for some reason, which I don't really know why, but that's cool to have. Now, of course, with new events that are coming back, you will always find that most dragons tend to lower in price. But besides that, we have this new currency called Sun Gold. Now, of course, you can buy Sun Gold with Robux, but there's also free ways where you can get Sun Gold without paying anything. So the first way is the Sun Gold Daily Bonus. All you have to do is wait about 12 hours or 24 hours and you can claim free Sun Gold every single day. And you can get up to 700 on the last day. That is crazy. And it's all for free. But of course, there are more different and more efficient ways. Wait, Sonky, no! I want to- <laughs> What? Why are you leaving me? Why does everything leave me? Alright, so the first way you can start getting Sun Gold is by, of course, doing these mini games now the first mini game is deathmatch now i suck at pvp so i don't really uh i, I can't get anything out of this because i suck the second way is dex and football now dex and football is technically like soccer uh you spawn in two teams and it's pretty fun uh on the first day of the release it did glitch where the ball would just fly out of the middle of nowhere and uh yeah but they patched that and now it's working again the third one is sunday search now this one is this one is a solo so you can do it all by yourself and get some sun gold with it uh basically it's like finding the easter eggs from uh, the easter event but instead there's three sundays that spawn anywhere on the map and they play this little jingle and uh yeah, you have to find three of them within 13 minutes. The last mini game is over here, and there's a whole bunch of people. Oh, what was that? That's a glitch. And there's a whole bunch of people. Uh, and you can do this with a lot of people. It's Starcatcher. Now, this is basically find the rubber duckies from the Easter event. But now, they're everywhere in the skies. And they are super annoying to catch. But, that doesn't really matter. Alright, now to the actual eggs. Now, the eggs, you can find them in boxes around the map. Uh, it, yeah, right here. They look like this. I'll try to find one for you guys, just so you get a better idea of what they look like. Now, I usually see them spawn over here. And somewhere over there. And their spawns are randomized. And their spawn times are also randomized, I think. You can also hop into this cave right here, you'll meet Dave too, and this is where you take your eggs and upgrade them in order to get better eggs and a better chance to hatch the Solarizen. So, basically all you do, you press E or just click on it, you choose your Solar Star Inner Egg, select it, and you can upgrade it to up to 5 times. Now the max tier you can get is tier 5. I've gotten tier 5s before, I got 4 of them. A new mine. Ah, oh, it's another new mine. Ah, oh, another new mine. Oh nah, it's another new mine. Another new mine. And I got absolutely nothing because my luck is terrible. But we don't talk about that. Also, you can find boxes through this cave over here. And uh, another cave in this direction. Alright guys, so here is a box, and as you can see, it does this little funny target practice thing, and uh, once you get all five hit marks in a row, you can get an egg, and there's a chance you can get one or two sun gold, which I'm not too sure why it gives sun gold if it's that low. Now, onto the accessories. In Solstice, they bring out new accessories like the Solar Star set and the Necklace set. This is for week one of 
the Solstice event. We don't know what they bring out in week two. They also have all these funny shenanigans like fake Hexalius horns, which I should probably get later. Next is the event store. The event store has new potions and they brought back the Empire's potion. I can see the prices decreasing right before my very eyes. And the Lunaris potion. And of course, the Sunbeam and Solar Reset. There's also the Solstice backpack and the theme. And for building materials, well, you can find out yourself. And yeah, that's basically part one, well, week one of the 2022 Solstice event. I hope you enjoyed this short review. I will be making new videos on week two and week three. And of course, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and of course, comment down below on what you want to see next. And in the meantime, I'll see you. Goodbye. Oh no, I'm falling.